everyone, welcome to EduTab and welcome to the Finance Current Affairs session. In today's session, we are going to discuss a very important news article of finance that is regarding the GST and that is the goods and services tax network that has now become a part of the account aggregator network to help the MSMEs get the lending. So how the MSMEs are going to benefit, what is this goods and services tax network and what is this account aggregator network, all of this we are going to discuss in today's session. And let me tell you that the GSTN is very important, this is the mother database of the GST. So it holds all the information, all the financial data regarding the GST is held by the GSTN. So this is a very important thing and this is going to become the financial information provider for the account aggregator network. So what is this news article? Today we are going to have the complete understanding of this. But before starting with this news article, there is a big announcement from Edutab that we have brought for you the comprehensive guide for RBI Nabard and City. So through a single guidebook, you can get all your answers of your common queries. That is regarding the examination, that what is the syllabus of the exam? What is the pattern for the exam? And what are the previous year cutoffs? So all these informations can be provided through a single guidebook. You do not have to visit different links you do not have to visit different websites even if you want to know about the strategy of the exam that what should be the preparation strategy what should be the sources for the preparation all these queries can be answered through a single guidebook your time and effort should be absolutely saved it is absolutely saved through this single guidebook okay so even if you would want to know about the examination about the organization about the preparation all your queries can be answered through this guidebook this is absolutely free of cost and you can easily download this guidebook the link is given in the description box below so now starting with today's topic that is the GSTN now part of the account aggregator network. So the RBI, the Reserve Bank of India has said that the GSTN has been included in the list of the financial information providers that is this GST network will be the financial information provider under the account aggregator net framework so that it can help the MSMEs get the lending. So what is this GST and what is this account aggregator framework? Let's understand that first before coming to how it is going to help the MSMEs. So starting with the account aggregator network, a financial data sharing system. So the account aggregator network, it is a financial data sharing system so that from the financial information providers, that is the institutions, the financial inst institutions that have the information, they are providing the data, the financial data to the financial information users. Okay, so first of all, the account aggregator, this is regulated under the Reserve Bank of India. This is a NBFC and it has the NBFC AA license. So this is the basic idea of the account aggregator that who are they? They are the NBFCs that have the NBFC account aggregator license under the Reserve Bank of India. They help the individual, they have, uh, they help the individual to share the data from the financial information providers to the financial information users. So let's say that this person wants to get the uh, loan from the SDFC bank, the home loan the person wants to get. Now this person has to provide all the information to the SDFC bank that I, I have this much of the save, uh, savings, I have this much of the money in this particular uh, savings account, I have this much of the money in this particular current account, I have this much money invested in the mutual fund, so I have this much of the assets with me because I have made these investments, I have the insurance policies with me, so I have done this insurance holdings I have. So all this information has to be provided from this person manually to the SDFC bank and the SDFC bank has to check each and every information that okay this is truthful or not, this is truthful or not. So this is a cumbersome process. The loan that the SDFC bank gives to this person, this can take a lot of time to check the uh, the physical forms and check the uh, uh, check that the person is saying right or not. Now what happens to make this process easier, the account aggregator comes in between. So account aggregator is the consent manager, it takes the permission from the individual that should we send the information to this financial information users directly from the providers. So this person has an account in the SBI, the current account and the uh, is in SBI and let's say the savings account is in Canada Bank. It has mutual fund. Uh, investments that it has made in the mutual fund through different houses. It has also the insurance holdings. So all this information has to be provided to the financial information users and the account aggregator take the consent uh, from the person that should be shared the data 
with the financial information users and the person will give the consent that yes share the data with the financial information users the request will be sent to the financial information providers and the financial information providers can easily share the financial history of the person with the information users and now you will see that the account aggregator will have all the information you can see all the information of the person so there can be data breach now but let me tell you that this is a end to end encrypted data that is being sent so the uh, the financial information providers are sending the enc encrypted data so that the account aggregator cannot read cannot store the data and the financial information providers they are the one that are decrypting the data so at last all the information is actually only going to the financial information users so from the providers directly the information can go to the financial information users so the data the assets so through the through the account aggregator network what is happening that the data regarding the financial history that how much assets a person has how much savings it has how much money it has in the current account in the savings account how much assets it has with the mutual funds that it has invested this much in the mutual funds so all the information regarding the assets all the information regarding the liability that it has taken this much of the loan from the sbi and it is giving the regular payments it is it has paid back the previous loans it is it has taken a new loan so all the information regarding the liability also is provided through the account aggregator and through this middle consent manager so you can understand that through this network all the information regarding the person is going with to the financial information provider so that the financial sorry to the financial information user so that the financial information users can check the credit worthiness of this person and they can say okay this person has a lot of assets and this person is paying back the liabilities the liabilities are completely covered and the person is very good it has a very good credit score also so you can understand that the credit worthiness can be easily checked no physical data the person has to take to the hdfc bank everything is happening online the person is giving the consent online the financial information providers are giving the information online and in such a easy way the information is traveling from one uh, place to other place and account aggregators can make all the data available from the users current savings account the past uh, loan repayment re records the loans that it has currently taken and the uh, timely it has paid or not the mutual fund holdings that are the assets that the person has the insurance holding that the person has any financial data can transfer uh, can be transfer can be made transferable so now it distinguishes now the civil that is the cre uh, credit bureaus they are only able to provide the liability side data that is how much the person has taken the loan the person has provided the loan back or paid the loan back or not so the civil or the credit bureaus are only able to provide the liability side data but the account aggregator is the one that is providing all the financial data the assets the liability the complete financial history of the transactions and everything so it is increasing the uh, the chances of the person in getting the loan easily by showing that how credit worthy the person is it has so many of the assets that it can pay the loan back easily uh, but the assets will come in the future because the mutual funds take time to mature or something so the liability the person is paying back all the liability very nicely so you can understand that it increases the credit worthiness of the person so now the account aggregators they are data blind they cannot see the data they cannot read the data why because the data is encrypted and they will not resell they cannot resell the consumer data again the data is encrypted so the aas they are enable they enable the consumers to selectively share and even revoke data so the customer can consumer can easily share the data and they can even selectively choose that the data should go from the sbi only the canara bank should not send the data the uh, the data should go only from the selective mutual fund houses so the selective data can also go so you can understand that how good this account aggregator network is as well as the wealth management the wealth management companies can easily get that this person wants to have the wealth management company to see the wealth of the person so the wealth that is with the sbi that is with the canara bank the person has stored the money with this 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 so the wealth management company can easily see that and can uh, provide the best kind of solution for this uh, customer to have the wealth managed so such great kind of services the person can get without manually providing any kind of data to the financial information users the data will directly go from the providers to the users now coming to the gstn now you have completely understood that the account aggregator are just 
what it is the network that is providing the middle ground that are, that are the consent managers that are providing the information from the FIPs to the FIUs. So now coming to the GSTN that will become a financial information provider. So they the GSTN will be here. They will be providing the data and let me tell you that the GSTN this is that mother database for everything that is related to GST. So all the information regarding the GST is stored in this uh, GST portal that is under the GSTN. So the goods and service text network, this is a non-profit, non-government organization that manages the entire IT system of the GST portal. This manage. So the GSTN manages the IT portal, the IT infrastructure of the GST portal that is the common portal for the GST that has all the information regarding the GST. The, uh, the filling that is happening, the registration that is happening, the identification number, the unique identification number that is given to the uh, users, the taxpayers and the filing of the taxes that is done by the taxpayers, the maintaining of all tax details, this is all happening in the GST and by the GST and through the GST portal through the IT infrastructure. So the government used this portal to track every financial transaction. So this is the mother database. Now the GSTN is an organization that is managing the entire IT infrastructure of the GST portal which is the mother database that has all the information regarding the financial uh, transactions that are happening, the filling of the taxes that is happening, the maintaining of the text details that is happening, the registration that is happening, all the information regarding the GST is in this GST portal that is under the GSTN. So the government used this portal uh, for the to track every financial transaction and provide the taxpayers with the best kind of services through the registration till the maintaining of all text details. Now the GSTN. GSTN is under what? So it is a non-profit organization. It is a non-government organization. Okay. So the private players own a 51% of the GSTN. So you can understand that the information is in the hands of the private players in a way because they are having 51% of the share in the GSTN and the 49% of the share is with the government and that also is shared between equally between the center and the state government. So that is 24.5% shareholding is with the central government and the state government has 24.5% of the shareholding. So total, they both have 49% of the shareholding. Now you will say that the private players have 51% of the shareholding, but still the strategic uh, shareholding, the strategic importance is with the government because uh, with the private players, the shares are very, very less. They are in very minute numbers like 10%, 10%, 10%, 11%, uh, 10, 11%. While the government is the one that has the majority of the shares and that's why it has a strategic importance and without the government permission, no decision can be taken under the GSTN because they have the strategic importance and that's how our data is saved even though the private players are owing the 51% of the GSTN. Still, our data is saved because it is uh, under the government, okay? Now the GST council has said that the shares by the non-government financial institutions are being transferred. So uh, from these private institutions, the uh, shares are being transferred to the government so that the government can have 100% of the shareholding under the, of the GSTN. So the 100% of the shareholding will be provided uh, to the government regarding the GSTN. Okay, so and they both, they both will equally have 50-50% because the 100% will be with the government. That means 50% will be with central government and 50% will be with state government. So this is the complete IT infrastructure. This is the complete IT interface of the GST portal. That is through this portal, the registration, the returns, the payments, the help debts, the complaints are coming, the IGST settlement, everything is happening through this IT interface, through this IT infrastructure that is under the GSTN. Okay, so you can understand that all the information, all the financial information regarding the GST is coming in this GSTN. Okay, under this GSTN, through this GST portal. So all the information is under the GSTN. So now after understanding this that the all the information is under the GSTN you can understand that GSTN is a major financial information providing. Now if the GSTN starts providing the financial information there will be so much in financial information that can be provided to the uh, banks that are giving the loan or that can be provided to the other institutions. So in a major development now the GSTN has been included to the account aggregator network as a financial information provider. So the GSTN has become a financial information provider 
uh, to facilitate the cash flow lending to the MSMEs. So what kind of information can the GSTN provide all the information regarding the personal data also? No, the GSTN can only provide the uh, data regarding the GST returns. Okay, so the Department of Revenue that is under the Ministry of Finance shall be the regulator of the GSTN for the specific purpose of becoming the financial information provider. So the GSTN will become the financial information provider and for this the Department of Revenue will be handling, will be regulating it. The purpose of the goods and services tax returns uh, shall be the financial information that is provided through this uh, GSTN as the financial information provider. So that is the GST return has what so gst return has what kind of information that the financial information users need so the financial information users can take the data from the gstn that has become the financial information provider so the gstn will be providing the information regarding so the, here is the account aggregator so the gstn will be providing the data regarding the gst returns now this returns has what data so this returns has your sales how much sales the MSME is making, how much purchases the MSME is making, how much uh, tax the MSME is collecting on behalf of the government on the sales and how much tax is paid on the purchases, the input tax. So this is the returns. That is the tax liability, how much the uh, MSME has and the MSME is paying the taxes on time or not. So all this information can go to the financial information users. So the financial information users, let's say, it is again the SGFC bank that is going to give the loan to the some MSME, to some MSME. So through the account aggregator, the MSME has said, uh, that the information can be shared. So the GSTN is sharing the information regarding the returns to the SGFC. So SGFC bank will know that okay this much of the sales the MSMEs are, have made in the previous this much years and you can see that the sales are growing very fast. The purchases they are taking less purchases and they are making more profits and the tax liability they are also paying on time. So such kind of verifiable data such kind of absolute data is provided to the SGFC bank regarding the MSMEs. So so that the MSMEs can have the cash flow lending to the MSME so that it become it, it increases the credit worthiness of the MSME that MSME is doing really good in terms of sales at least and it is paying the tax liability. So the MSME is quite credit worthy and the SGFC bank will give the money to the MSMEs. So through the GSTN, the information regarding the uh, GST returns are being provided to the financial information users. Okay. So RBI's decision to bring GSTN under the payment aggregator framework or the account aggregator framework will be very powerful as the financial information users, the users that are going to give the loan, that are going to give the NBFCs, the banks that are going to give the loan to the MSMEs would be able to access the credit worthiness of the small businesses owners through verifiable data. So it is the verifiable data that is directly coming from the uh, government we can say. So the GSTN is providing the is be, has become the financial information provider to provide the uh, GST returns data to the financial information users so that the financial information users can use that data can check the credit worthiness of the MSMEs and they can easily provide the loan to the credit worthy companies to the credit worthy MSMEs okay. So I hope now you can easily answer these questions very easy questions they are and uh, you must know about the account aggregator also. So this is the second question that I hope you can easily answer okay. So now uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Telegram channel. The PDF of this session will be provided in the Telegram channel. And uh, thank you very much everyone. Uh, if you have any query you can mail us here or you can contact us through this number. Thank you very much everyone.